Okay, this is the next video in our continuation of our AW series. And in this video, we will discuss a very simple service, nothing uh, must to do for the hands-on. And the service name is the AWS Health Dashboard. So let's uh, search the, the service name, Health Dashboard. If you click on it, okay so like what is the use of this service and why we need it uh, you know like we have a, a number of services uh, within the aws and uh, there could be an outage uh, on each and every services from the aws side right so how you go to know that okay let's suppose uh, there is an outage on the ec2 or there is some issue going on some some like a cloud guru service or any any other services how you go to know like there is an issue from the aws side so this aws health dashboard is like uh, used for that purpose so there are two sections one is the service health section and one is the your account health section so if you click on the service health section and you go to the service history all right so here <clears throat> you could see all the like uh, services uh, for the two days date like based upon the region like north america south america europe africa asia specific middle east and we go to know that whether the services are uh, operation or like uh, unavailable right so example if we go to the euro we can see okay right now today that is the 19th of june a major api gateway is perfectly working fine so there is no issue from the aws end so if it is not working for you, then it means issue at your end maybe, or maybe you can like raise an, raise an uh, issue, All right? Even if you can see the past history as well, like on the 18th June, 17th June, 16th June, which services are like uh, up and active, and is there any issue uh, from the AWS side or not? Along with that, you could see a small tag, like RSS tag. You can subscribe uh, for the alert. So let's suppose if you want this uh, like services, uh, you want to know like if there is an issue in the future or not as soon as there is an like schedule changes you go to know the uh, like uh, some email notification so you can subscribe the feeds as well right <clears throat> but like this will display you like uh, all the things but in in actual you are not going to use like all the services so it is very difficult to find uh, uh, like uh, the services which is impacting your account so there is a like a different dashboard you can call it as a personalized dashboard. So if you click on this, that, that is a your account health dashboard. So there are so many like uh, things like open and the recent issue. So if you click on the open and the recent issue, so is there any, is there any issue like currently going on? No schedule changes. So I could see like there is a one schedule changes, right? So <clears throat> now, even right now, there is a schedule changes uh, like, uh, has been scheduled from the AWS end and which might impact on my account. All right, so I can like uh, go through that and I can like read, uh, okay, what is the schedule changes? Is there any action I need to take or not? So if you, if you like read here, cloud shell persistence ex uh, like uh, expiring. So if you go to the description, it is mentioned some user of, uh, some user of this account have not used AWS cloud shell for over 110 days in the EU West one region. So issue in the EU West one region only. And this is for those users who has not used the AWS cloud share for more than over 110 days. So right now what they are doing on June 29, 2022, we have scheduled to delete the cloud shell. Here they have mentioned June 29, but they here they have mentioned June 19. I'm not sure why they did so. Uh, right, so they said that like, uh, on June 29, 2022, we have scheduled to delete the cloud shell home directory and data of inactive users. So whoever is the inactive user and uh, maybe like um, before 110 days, they like uh, like logged into the cloud shell, but now they are the inactive user. So what they will do, they will like uh, delete their home, home directory. So you can see the list of the affected users in the affected resource tab, right? So we have the affected resources as well. So we can see, okay, is there any resources which is being affected by, uh, affected my account? So yes, so this is the root account, which is even affected. Even I did not, I think I have not logged into the AWS Cloud Shell, right? So this is the action which uh, uh, I can take if I want to, right? 
so similarly you can see like other notification as well so right now there is a zero other notification we can see the event log in the event log you can see all the previous uh, uh, like the issues uh, which is at the aws side and which may or might impacted like uh, your account so this is the ongoing issue which is the schedule uh, schedule issue which is start time and 19 june 20, like but in the description it is mentioned 29 june uh, not sure why along with that so uh, let's click on like any any issue so let me click on the operational issue api gateway we can see the details okay what is the issue for and uh, whether the issue has been resolved from the aws side or not so right now issue resolved it is because of the increased error rate so we can like uh, go through the description and the resolution what they did along with that there is another tab that is the affected resources so if you click on the affected resources so we can see like okay what are the affected resources or so when this like uh, issue happen from the aws side or any scheduled outage happen from the aws side is there any resources which is imp like uh, impacted my account or not so when you work in the actual project so it is like uh, important you can like uh, uh, take the action accordingly so if there is any schedule activity from the aws side which is not in your hand all right so you can uh, like communicate to your stakeholder okay this is the schedule activity which is from the uh, the aws side and which might impact this affected resources all right so this is for you are like uh, you can like go through your personal account that is the personalized dashboard and this is the overall but overall this is not very useful uh, because uh, it shows for all the region all the services uh, uh which are available or not uh, uh, but like personalized is like the great one along with that if you go to the one second the same thing like whatever the you are seeing here na uh, open and recent issues schedule changes uh, other notification event allow same thing you can like uh, access from the home page so if you go to the home page there is a notification icon here right a bell icon so if you click on the bell icon the same thing you can like uh, get open issues whether there are any open issues no schedule changes yeah there is a schedule change that is the like uh, cloud shell uh, uh, expiring other notification event now so if you click on the schedule changes what are the like uh, one schedule changes and when it's uh, going to impact me so there is a like cloud shell uh, persistence expiring and that is only for the like uh, eu west uh, sorry us i think us region eu eu west one region sorry eu west one region so like this so basically like uh, instead of like uh, uh, going to the services here aws health uh, dashboard we can like directly go to this bell icon and we can access okay but all the services are uh, uh, has any schedule change schedule outage from the aws side and what are the impacted resources which uh, which can impact uh, uh, to my account so this is like a, a good service uh, which you, uh, probably we can use from day to day life so that's it uh, that's the end of the video uh, nothing to like explore in this uh, services uh, just a like overview of the health we can like to see which services up and running uh, thank you